Hello everybody, it's Ballet at Brand. Uh, so in this video, I do have a update, right? An update of my worldview that I was wrong about. So without further ado, I was wrong. Richard Hart was wrong. And uh, what we were both wrong about was the Bitcoin bear market, or at least the top call, right? Uh, Richard's talked about that uh, Bitcoin has behaved a certain way where generally on a on a time practical or sorry time fractal and then also as far as a uh, an actual big ass run up and then an 85 percent retracement of the whole so with the actual bitcoin price that would have been uh 97.50 if uh if richard's you know hypothesis was correct uh once again it's time to update the worldview uh before i share the price chart and kind of do you know a couple minute video? Uh, once again, it's the the absolute importance of updating your worldview. You know what do successful people do? They do what uh, others don't, right? And we saw how many uh, you know crypto influencers and whatnot uh, hated on Hex. They were wrong, but then the problem was is they doubled down on that. So I'm not going to double down on on being wrong or anything. Uh, I pride myself in being able to constantly update the worldview, okay? So without further ado, let's just take a look here. So once again, this is just uh, tradingview.com slash chart. It's uh, the Bitcoin on uh, Bitstamp. And uh, Richard likes that because it doesn't actually uh, shell a whole bunch of you know margin and, and leverage and things like this. It's more of a clean price, which is great. So once again, we can see uh, where we're at right now. Maybe I can just zoom in. Uh, I guess I can't. So... Anyways, we're at a uh, sixty-five thousand uh, five hundred and thirty-five dollars, and honestly, there's there's not much more to it than that. Okay, so that was the uh, that was this little short segment of a video. Uh, once again, it's it's important, especially in markets, right? Just like uh, logic and math and facts don't care about your feelings, uh, neither does this uh, in this case, right? So. Um, it's important to update the worldview. If someone like myself or Richard were to double down, that would just be uh, very immature and naive. So anyways, uh, Richard did mention as well that if he was wrong about it, he would be the first one to mention that he was wrong. And honestly, I, uh, I don't really follow a whole bunch of the other crypto space stuff anymore that I didn't even realize uh, it had passed $65,000 until uh, Richard had done a, uh, a live stream today uh, in, in Copenhagen. So once again, it has passed the $65,000 top call that uh, Richard had initially done. Uh, a caveat that I will say is, uh, even though it's time for us to update the worldview, uh, Richard did still call that uh, temporary top, right? The, the temporary moment in time top uh, on the absolute day, which you know, if say you had sold that $65,000 top or sold that day, uh, you know, you could have scooped, I think like, I don't even know, like, like $30,000, uh, $30,000, uh, a Bitcoin, something like that. Yeah. You know, 33, 32, something like that. So, uh, once again, it's important to understand that, that markets are constantly developing. And, uh, this is, this is good to know. I uh, just, cause everything else is changing around the world. Um, you know, now we see the same thing is happening with, with Bitcoin. Uh, who knows what's going to happen with uh, Ethereum as well. But uh, in general, it, it's good to know that this is the case because now we can, you know, take the old hypothesis, even though it was, you know, partially correct, but not a complete bear market. Uh, we can kind of throw that out, out the window, you know, throw it on the, the scrap. And then now we can, <clears throat> now we can brainstorm uh, where this is going to go in the future. So something to consider. Uh, I wanted to make this video public, right? I had uh, I had deleted and, and honestly banned a couple of uh, Bitcoiners. Um, I guess hexagons get the same toxicity, uh, you know, stereotype comments, but not that I've seen to that regard. So there was a couple of Bitcoiners that were uh, more uh, attacking rather than, you know, kind of constructive in the uh, in the comments section. So I guess for those people, I think, you know, uh, one of the guys, Benjamin something, uh, if, if he's listening to this, then yes, you were right. I was wrong. Hope you feel good about that. Uh, but once again, it was a, you know, proper call just in a 
uh, moment of time, not with the 85% retracement and the rest of it. So we're all going to have to, uh, I guess, just learn as we go and, and see uh, what kind of new patterns and new fractals and kind of just new ways that uh, Bitcoin and the markets are going to behave. Uh, if there's anything that we know, we know that uh, crypto is just constantly evolving. And anyways, it's, uh, it's something that's important to consider and also to acknowledge uh, the people that were right. Shout out to you, great. Uh, the people that uh, needed to update their worldview, great. We've updated our worldview and now we can kind of learn from that and, uh, and move on. So hope this video was helpful and uh, cheers, everyone. We'll uh, see everyone on uh, Nights of Crypto tonight. I, I think Dollar Cost is going to be hosting it. <clears throat> He's got about like 34 minutes to, to get the stream set up, but uh, we should all be should all be back. So I'm looking forward to that. I know they were doing some traveling, so I, uh, I missed the weekly stream, right? So anyways, I'll see everyone then. Thanks for uh, tuning in and until uh, next time, okay?